this might well be the pimpest bike I've ever ridden or demoed at least so this is Marshy's bike shout out Marshy thank you very much for letting me convince you to ride it so we've got Crank Brothers Synthesis wheels uh, largely developed by Mello South Aussie boy he had a pretty big hand in in making these wheels so carbon wheels he was also the maker of the Bowmeister wheels these synthesis wheels they get good wraps so I'm pretty uh, pretty keen to try them out 34 with 140 on the front and a float DPS I'm assuming rear shock 130 mil at the back Fox transfer transfer post WTB Silverado saddle I like it it's pretty good carbon bars 50 mil stem full carbon frame cranks are way too long they're 175s I'm pretty sure they feel like it I feel like they're about 190 uh, it's just a bit of a joke there obviously minions front and back 3c max terror just climbed it up the hill pretty good spot out here Anstey's hill it's primo right now so I've just had a big dump of rain come through so there should be heaps of grip and uh, yeah let's see how, how she goes straight off the bat uh, seat tube angle I don't like it at all it's uh, 72.5 I believe and uh, yeah you just weigh off the back so I've just slid the, the seat as far forward as it as it allows on those uh, on its obviously settings the recommendations so that's all good ergon grips again I like these now these are these are quite good the GE ones uh, he's got formula brakes on it so uh, single or dual pot uh, formula brakes or two piston formula brakes formula cures so we'll see how they go today as well uh, we've got a few things to test here it's pretty cool Crank Brothers mallet pedals I've tested them before they're good a little bit wide for my liking but they're good and we got the Wend chain wax which I've tried before and I like and uh, yeah it's cool let's roll so I'm gonna do this as a bit of a progress report video so I've done two runs on it I'm on wild side so I've kind of groomed the trail a little bit made sure there's no loose rocks to kick up and, and damage the the Ferrari obviously uh, it's running wicked because we just had rain so it's heaps of grip now first run down the rear shock it's got three modes of compression so it's got obviously a open pedal and lockout but it's also got this little black dial which is a, a three banger as well so you got the one two three there it was in three and it's just really quite harsh at the back it was efficient it was definitely efficient but air very harsh so i've rolled the bars back to where i like it he had them rolled a fair way forward which uh, is personal preference but i don't yeah i can't ride like that it's very sketchy at the front uh tire pressure is 21 at the front 23 at the back forks at first i just dropped the compression in them and not the shock and it didn't really feel much different it just started to dive a little at the front so there's three clicks of compression on that fork now which is the fit damper uh, so the that's back to three clicks the backs on one now and that second run with it one click uh, with uh, in the the softest compression mode and obviously full open was much more controlled it feels really really good and with these wheels I'm assuming it's partly partly the carbon wheels they just feel so direct and so stiff I haven't ridden on wheels like this before I've ridden on carbon wheels uh, I actually rode a Trek Fuel EX the other day that felt really, really good as well, but a little bit more compliance in those wheels, I think. Uh, they were the Bontrager carbon wheels. So that second run, the first run, it really felt sketchy. The second run, I was able to kind of sit back on it and, and let it swing around a little bit more, and it feels really, really good. So I'm going to be kind of comparing this thing. I've only got it for a day, so uh, it's not a huge, uh, not a super objective review, obviously. It's just more of a, a light comparison. So I've done one run and a little bit of bouncing around on the Trek Fuel EX 9.8 2019. I'm going to do a heap of riding on this today. And I've done a full two days on the Trance 29er, which is a 115-130 travel. So all in the similar similar ballpark, all yeah, aiming for similar uh, genre, I guess you'd call it. Yeah, similar people. The Trek definitely left the rain in the uh the trance in the dust the trance definitely disappointed me with that short uh fork off set it was just too twitchy at the front uh for a steep head angle this is 67.5 normal fork offset feels good 
uh, the Fuel EX felt excellent. That bike surprised me. It felt really, really good and confidence inspiring. So uh, that was sick. So I'll continue on. We're going to crack on a couple more laps. This thing's feeling quite good and, and uh, giving me a bit of confidence now. So wheels are as stiff as can be. They're just, and the bike is silent. There's no bounce, there's no chop, there's no chatter. Uh, it holds the line really well. Minions, obviously, love them. So yeah, anyway, let's crack on. So that's it. We're all done. I've done a heap of laps on this thing down wild side. Build up some confidence. It feels really, really good. Really don't like that seat tube angle. Uh, climbing it back up the fire road. I honestly can say that my 16 kilo, or just under 16, it's probably 15.8, Transition Patrol 170, 160, with a 75, I think it's 75 or 76 degree seat angle, climbs as well as this thing. This is obviously lighter and more efficient, uh, technically speaking, but the position just kills you. It's not, it makes it less, less efficient for sure. So it's got a 72.5 degree seat angle. Don't like that at all. I slammed the seat forward. That made it much better. The climbing was better for sure. Handling itself, it's such a whipper. It's so good. Uh, I've got that rebound. He set it up to be fully fast. So as fast as that rear shock goes, I played around with it a bit. I went six clicks back and I went four clicks back and uh, back to full fast and then a few clicks uh, slower. Kind of went a fair bit back and forth with the with those rebound clicks and it just pitter patters over stuff really really nicely at that faster rebound which is really nice. A little bit too slow and it kind of um, it thuds a little bit. There's a little bit more of a thud which is good if you're going in real rowdy stuff you kind of want it I think you want a little bit slower. There's definitely more grip of that slower rebound. Um, I could probably say overall, on flowy XC style trails, definitely that fast rebound. Uh, on trails like this, what I was just riding then, definitely a little bit slower. Not slow, but a little bit slower for sure. Uh, it grips better. The back end kind of tracks a little bit better with that little bit slower rebound. Forks felt fine. I never went through much travel. You can see the, the Yeehaw meter on it. It's about two-thirds of the way up uh, doesn't feel overly stout I could probably run it a little softer but didn't feel like it needed to really go softer I'd definitely put a luft cap in it give it a bit more off the top sensitivity the wheels are so I guess stiff um, but they it's like they absorb all of the trail chatter as well which is surprising <laughs> to me I thought carbon wheels were just kind of harsh and and yeah, you know, there's no give there, but landing on like little G outs and, and there's a little, couple of little booters on this track and landing from the booters, like landing to flat, it just, everything goes back into your body. Everything goes forward momentum. So momentum is definitely the key word on this bike. It has wicked, wicked momentum. I'm assuming partially the wheels, partially the carbon frame, partially the short travel. Uh, it feels excellent. It's, it feels almost identical to the Trek Fuel EX that I rode the other day, actually. Uh, I didn't spend a lot of time on that, but I was confident straight out, straight out the gate on that thing. This took me a few runs to get confident, but it feels awesome. And the speed is killer. Love the 29ers on the flat trails. Uh, if I was just doing XC and flat trail riding everywhere, I'd definitely have at least a 29er front with a 27.5 rear. Full 29er just feels so fast and so efficient everywhere. But as soon as you tip it in and start taking hits as you're tipping it in, I don't like the idea of the, the big back wheel. Uh, I've spoken about that before, but anyway, this bike's a whip it, hey. Obviously top end, obviously top price. Uh, I think they're 10 or 11 grand, something like that, something crazy. 100% I would go shorter cranks. Don't like the shorter cranks. Uh, intense if you're watching. Leave the slack seat tube angles in the past. That's where they belong. Uh, for sure, get with the times and and uh, steepen that up a little bit. Being that it's a predominantly pedal, uh, you know, you're going to the, the seated pedaling market, they do a lot of seated pedaling. Uh, you'd think they'd be all over that, but you're kind of seeing more of it in the in the enduro scene uh, with the steeper seat tube angles. And I'll tell you what, my bike is an absolute pleasure to climb. Even though it's super heavy, it climbs like an absolute, just a goat, it's, an, it's a goat. It's probably the best bike I've climbed on position wise it's heavy obviously six yeah nearly 16 kilos but like i said i'd climb that further than i'd climb this for sure i'd run out of steam on this sooner just because of that position it's an inefficient position inefficient position 
uh, the Cura brakes. Touch on these. They're not great. They're okay. Uh, I'd probably put them on the same level as the uh, SRAM level brakes. Not quite the power of the co uh, the, the guides. No near, no near the feel of the or the power of the codes. Obviously, they're only a, a dual piston, not a four piston. 200 rotor at the front, 180 at the back. They're just there's a lot of effort for a little bit of braking. There's a fair bit of it compared compared to what I'm used to. I've just come off of codes. Uh, I've been playing on guides and whatnot, and yeah, they're not they're not the power of a guide. No way. Uh, I feel okay. The lever feels really really good actually. Like it's a um, as in ergonomically, it feels quite good. I like the hook at the end. Um, it's it's quite pronounced when it's actually in your finger. But once again, the power is just not not great. So if you, I would definitely wouldn't put them on a bike like mine. Hell no, they're not going to pull you up. Seat post killer works flawlessly. I don't know much about the transfer posts, but it's really good. A uh, little bit of yeah, you know, little bit of resistance on the lever. It's kind of a little bit like. If you can hear that it's just got a little bit of like friction in there it actually feels like it's in the in this stuff here so outside of that feels good the the button itself's in a good position all that's great ergon grips are okay i've already spoken about them they're pretty cool uh i definitely prefer the uh elite flow odis uh over everything now i think they're, they're really really good but these are good they're, they're cool SRAM GX works well. Uh, my GX derailleur, derailleur just exploded the other day, so I'm going to see if I can get some warranty on that. But outside of that, love this bike. I think it's cool. If I wanted a little XC bike, uh, the only thing that would turn me away from this, obviously high price tag, I'm not rich, but the slack seat tube angle, it's just, it's a it's a deal killer. Everything else, it absolutely mauls. When you're up off, off, the, you know, off of the seat, this thing absolutely mauls. So impressed with the rear shock. Fairly impressed with the forks. Definitely impressed with the frame, how it uh, how it feels. It's extremely tight and quiet. It's, it's absolutely silent down the trail. Wheels are wicked. Yeah, intense primer. Thank you so much, Marshy. This was wicked. Uh, I'll have to let you borrow my bike now because uh, eye for an eye, obviously, deals a deal. And uh, yeah, thank you very much.